Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Aries Love Tarot reading. Aries Love Reading, and as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aries Love Messages Reading. Aries, this is a timeless reading meant for you when you get here. I'm channeling, well, we're, we're just at the end of July 2023, so we're just coming up to August 2023. And of course, you could be here in real time, but you could also be here months, even years later, I know. Why? Because it, it is a timeless reading. All my readings are timeless readings. What does that mean? It means you're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. You're here for a reason. It means there's a message here for you. I'm really glad you found your way here, Aries. And we're going to get into your reading. But before we do, I just want to mention all the decks that are coming in today are in the description below. There's a lot going on down there, <laughs> so I won't go through everything. But you can also find all the playlists. They're really easy to reach. All zodiac signs, messages from your person. All signs love tarot readings. Those are, yeah, readings for all zodiac signs that if you're drawn to a reading, it's your reading, whether it's one message or more, whatever the case may be. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long and very in-depth twin flame readings, I think over a hundred now. So those are also timeless, of course, if you feel drawn to go check them out. Maybe you're on a twin flame journey. Maybe you're not sure. Maybe you're not interested at all, and that's okay too, of course. There's a lot going on down there, so feel free to check it out. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what is for you and let the rest go. And of course, I would like to take this time to invite you to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. This helps so much, more than really I can even say, to keep the channel moving, to keep the channel growing so that I can continue to bring you your love readings. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate your support, showing your support in that way, and being here is showing your support. So thank you. Let's see what's going on with you and your person. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. The nine of wands and it's coming in reverse here so this is is this the end of separation is this the end of not talking we need to see a lot more look it's landing here and what is this <laughs> this can be in decisive mode for me this can be an energy of sort of in the making so it's the devil card it's capricorn and it's also saturn energy it's a major arcana we know that I feel like somebody here is trying to come. I'm just going to leave it here, right where it landed. This is where your person's energy is the strongest. And I just had a really weird throat chakra thing going on there. Yeah, this is somebody who's trying to come. Are they wanting to talk? Are they? Are you going to see each other? Are you, is there maybe a plan? Is there something that you're maybe going to see each other at? Some of you maybe. Whatever the case is, I see them wanting to come here and address. This for me is more about getting into reverse, into the devil in reverse. It's funny, but every time I hear that, I always think too, as you know, I'm a professional musician, and I always think of, of that as a song or, or a, a devil, the devil in reverse or the name of the band. <laughs> so somebody, please, if you do that, let me know. By the way, that is bringing in just a really quick thing I want to say here. Uh, rest in peace to Sinead O'Connor. My gosh. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, but um. I just needed to bring that in. So let's see what else is going on here. Well, the, <laughs> this is yours. It's the world card in reverse. And it's the two of cups. Okay. This is the two of you here. This is your love. This is your connection. You're still connected. I mean, you can see it here. And you can also see that they're trying to come. Look what's here in reverse in the partnership placement. It's the world card. So this is telling us that... It's not finished, but it's not moving either. And there have been some delays and that's coming through here in the devil, which is far more, this is trying to make their way into the reverse. And that's coming in here and addressing everything that's been going on. 
because we see in the Nine of Wands, this is the moon in Sagittarius in reverse here, that this is the end of, this is a vulnerable energy and it's the end of a separation. So is that communication only? Is it in person here? We see that it's not moving. It hasn't been moving, but we also see that it's not finished. There are some delays. There are still some lessons that are going on. Is it in your person's energy? I kind of feel that. Kind of sort of a lot, actually. <laughs> the Two of Cups. This is Venus and Cancer energy. So this is the connection. And this is somebody trying to come in with some kind of offer. Proposal energy can be quite literally marriage proposal energy. Is that, is that what's happening? Maybe. It's really very early on, but we can also see and I can also feel that they're trying to come here with something. You haven't disconnected. Look at the roses here. I just realized that, of course, the felt roses that I've made for you. You're still connected here. Look, and that's the energy here as well. Your destinies are intertwined. This is a deep soulmate connection for some of you. This is your twin flame. Again, that is just not for everybody. And we see also that somebody might be delaying or have delayed a particular proposal? Is it marriage? Is it moving in? Is it another level? What is that? But we see it's still here. So the decision is still here. And they're trying to come in. These two are most definitely yours. It's the Ace of Wands. That's not surprising at all. Aries, you're in this energy. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. So this is that urge to come. This is leading with the heart. Look at its, I mean, it's obviously vibrating and it's fi fire energy, of course. It's the energy of love and it's the fastest energy and it's adorned with flowers, with an offering here. Somebody who's really getting the urge to come in here. It's the Seven of Cups we're seeing in the upright. And this is why things have been slow. Venus and Scorpio energy. Somebody's had some issues, some commitment issues. Somebody here has been maybe had choices in the way of romance too, but it can be a lot of things. It's, it's a head in the clouds. It's a get out of there and make a decision energy. It's, you know, farting around up there. <laughs> if you're from, I don't know if that's an East Coast thing or a California thing, but that's something I got from my mom, farting around, wasting time. Wasting time, you can see it here in the world card energy. It's the divine, divine time and communication growth. There hasn't been growth in the connection and there hasn't been communication, but we see that changing. We see them really literally trying to release put the devil in reverse. Can it be somebody here has some addictions that need to be let go of? That's interesting because that's just coming in. But look, you can see the darkness and the light here. There's the sun down below here, even, of course, in this upright energy. And that's the outcome. That's the source. That's that's the crown chakra and the knowing and the solution. And then we see the dark up here. We see the obstacles. And these mountains are actually being formed into clouds. That's the indecision. You can see the rain here. I mean, it's connecting, look directly. It's connecting actually directly with the world card in reverse. And that's, look, I mean, it's catty corner here with the two of cups and also the devil, which is almost in reverse. The empress energy. So yeah, this is telling us what we really already know. This person, or someone here today, has not been emotionally available. I feel like hasn't been opening up. Is, are there some untruths here? Maybe this is somebody who hasn't been honest with you. And this is what they're, this, for me, this is a spinner. We're going to be bringing in another deck because, yeah, we just are. <laughs> some Oracle as well because... This for me is, is, is well, it, it's aligning and it's catty corner with the devil, which is trying to go into reverse. It's working on that. It's working on coming here and opening up and being emotionally available and speaking the truth because we see that this is, they're working on it. This is ending this, what is it? Is it just no communication? Is it a complete separation? Because this is also, it's a kind of an isolation ending feeling. This is the moon in Sagittarius again, and that's also putting the moon in reverse. And I want to tell you something. That's the clarity and the truth coming. 
and you can see that the Seven of Cups is still in the upright, so it's the lack of clarity. So we know it's it's on the move. It's like spinning, spinning, spinning here. And look, this is where they've been in the Hermit energy. It's Virgo, it's Mercury energy, it's Major Arcana. It's where you go for clarity, for personal truth. What do you want? Spiritual illumination. Well, it's catty corner here that this is why they've been in the Hermit card energy. It's a turtle, slow. Land turtles, I believe, are faster than water turtles. Interesting, because the emotional energy is what we see that has been withheld, not available, emotionally unavailability, lack of truth, lack of clarity, getting the clarity, coming out of the hermit energy, which is literally what they're trying to do to address that double card energy. Look what's at the bottom of the cup bottom of the cup <laughs> the bottom of the deck it's the ten of cups this is mars and pisces energy and yeah this is coming together this is a, a beautiful loving supportive energy it's a new cycle so it's the end of a cycle here and we're coming into a new one and there is a renewal energy look at the cups all connected here and for me this is this is the chakras and that 10 is deducing into a 1. So that's the new beginning, but that's also telling us there's potential. Were you in the 10 of Cups, Aries? Were you already building a life, wanting to build a life, blend families, introduce to families, build a family? What is that for you? It doesn't, it doesn't just mean families that we think of the, you know, parents and children. What is family to you? Were you already there? Were you, were you trying to get there or was it on the table? Well, it's back on the table is what I want to say. And this is, this is what has been interrupted. I'm going to take this and I'm going to channel some more here. I'm going to do some shuffling and moving some energy around. So this is what the hermit has been slowly trying to upright the devil in reverse to go over what are the issues? What has taken you out of the Ten of Cups or is keeping you from the Ten of Cups? Well, we see why it's slow because somebody's been indecisive. For some of you, this is a direct connection to commitment issues. But it can also just be that there's a lot of other things that, you know, they've just been farting around in this energy and we see them coming out of the Hermit energy. And what have they been thinking about this, the Ten of Cups? where either you were or where you were heading and what has kept you there. What is in that double energy? Be a lot of things. Addiction came through for me. That's not always going to be the case. It can't even be third parties. And we see that in the Empress that maybe. But I want to tell you, this is also the, the lack of emotional availability and the lack of growth in the connection, which is also in connection with the, the world card here. Okay, so three coming down here together. It's the Five of Cups in reverse. It's the Nine of Cups in the upright. And it's the Daughter of Swords in reverse. So this is the Page of Swords in reverse. This is some more of the, the breakup, the heartbreak energy. Also some immaturity coming through. And look, it's an owl. It's a guardian of the night. Owls, by the way, are Scorpios. Interesting. So there might be something that you're not, not letting go of here. But we also see, even though this is in reverse, that they're still holding on to some, some things, some truths as well that they're trying to come. And that for me is connecting with the lack of emotional availability, opening up in the truth with the Empress in reverse. And we already know that that's what they're trying to do here. This is the Five of Cups in reverse. It's Mars and Scorpio energy, and it's the Nine of Cups in the upright, Jupiter and Pisces energy. This is coming back in and asking for forgiveness. And this is the Wish Fulfillment card. Is that what you've been wishing for, Aries, that they, they ask for forgiveness and apology? Is that what you've been waiting for, or is there something more? Because look where it wants to be. It's connecting right here with the Two of Cups in the upright. And this is proposal energy. Again, it can be marriage proposal energy. But proposal energy is also, my throat chakras going pretty nuts here. 
is also possibly a new beginning or dating again or talking again, whatever the case may be. For a lot of you, that is connecting us directly here with the Ten of Cups energy. And that's what? A life together, blending families, introducing families, because this is a, a an energy. It's the horse here. Look, and looking for, forlorn. The energy of loss and regret, leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. And we see that they do. And this is coming back in asking for forgiveness. This is recovery. This is hope returning, which we see here in the Nine of Wands in reverse. This separation ending. Is it just communication? Is it more? Because look, they're leading with their heart here. So it's sort of like... I'm feeling this nocturnal energy coming through in the Daughter of Swords in reverse here in the Sowl. Of course, that is nocturnal energy. A lot of things that they haven't been able to see, we can see that it's in reverse. But I, I feel this, well, yeah, it's coming in the night for the most part and getting this urge to come here and move because things have not been moving. And asking for an apology. This is the moon coming here. A lot of Pisces energy today. A lot of emotional energy. Another major arcana. Pisces, Cancer, and Gemini are also coming through. This is coming in and communicating in a new way and opening up. All the stuff that hasn't been seen. And of course, it's always coming through to trust yourself and trust your intuition. And this is also what they're doing as they come here and ask for forgiveness. So this is exactly what I've been feeling. This is the Empress in, this is the, a spinning Empress <laughs> for me. Divine Feminine Energy, of course. Because this is coming in and communicating in a new way. Asking for forgiveness. Ending the separation, in what way is that? Well, it's the Eight of Wands, so this can be in the way of a message. It's Mercury and Sagittarius energy. There's the lightning bolt. Look, you can actually see it here in the Ace of Wands. This is the nocturnal energy of kind of just kapow. I need to write my person. So getting this idea in the night... And, well, then what is the Eight of Wands? It's Mercury and Sagittarius energy. Mercury, of course, is the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, connected to Gemini and Virgo. And that's getting the idea, that's thinking about it, and that's also making some contact here. Oftentimes, Mercury is, is connected to reading and writing. So for me, this is a message. This is a message coming out of nowhere. In regard to the two of you, what do I feel is going on in this message while addressing what has been going on, the lack of emotional unavailability? Because for me, they're coming out of the hermit energy. Are you still in there? Maybe. Trying to figure out what you want. Today, this wants to be, look, interesting as I say that. Because it's the two of wands in reverse. Aries, this is your energy. It's Mars and Aries energy. Here's the thing, it's a spinner for me because I feel like you have literally been waiting for this message. This is kind of spinning for me too, I have to tell you. Okay, it can be that maybe they've already sent something and deleted it or they're waiting for a response. And I want to make sure that I'm not covering everything here because <laughs> that's what I do a lot of times here. My throat chakra is wild. I don't know if you can hear it. This is coming down in reverse. It's a spinner for me. It's, again, it's your energy. It's Mars and Aries energy. And Mars is the, and you're in Mars, of course, Aries, because that is your ruling planet. And you're here, also the ruling planet of Scorpio. Beginning and the end, the planet of action, passion, drive. And some conflicting energy really is coming through today because this is waiting for waiting for something to happen, energy. Also, somebody needing to make a decision. And it can be in regard to travel, movement, whether it's quite literally by foot, plane, car, what is it, chariot, but also in the journey. And it's in reverse here. So it's telling us that there are issues moving, and we know that. And I kind of feel like it's in the way of the message. It really feels like a spinner to me, but it's also in the connection. And it's also telling us that, yeah, you... You are here, I feel. I feel you're in, you're in the upright waiting. 
And we see as you're waiting, it's in reverse, that it's there's some issues with it moving forward. <laughs> That's exactly what we're seeing in the sun. This is a spinner for me too. It's always a spinner. This is the sun in reverse. So this is the outcome. This is the joyous outcome. This is the crown chakra finding the solution. It's telling me that it's delayed, but it's only temporary, but it is causing, yeah, some, some sadness around it. But this doesn't stay in reverse. This is literally a delay. I mean, you can see actually that they're getting inspired here in the Ace of Wands. All this fiery energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, do come here and ask for forgiveness. We see that there are delays. It's really very, very clear. And I also feel you again in that upright waiting. And this is a validation of that. It's turning into a bottoms up reading. Yeah. Okay. And it just showed something down here. My gosh. Okay. And I think these are yours too, but this sort of slid off and, and revealed the Nine of Pentacles. It's the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. This is Virgo and Mercury energy. So this is also what's been, been going over in the Hermit energy. And I feel like your person is coming out. If they haven't already, you might still be there. But it's the Nine of Pentacles. And this is one shy, one pentacle shy of the Ten of Pentacles. But this is also incoming love. This is incoming abundance around the pentacles. And of course, this is attainment, fulfillment, and things coming to fruition, getting ready here to, to get to a new cycle. What are we seeing? Something that I'm not surprised that we're seeing. It's the Three of Swords. We know that this is a no contact and or in separation reading. This is Libra energy and it's Saturn energy, which slows things down. We see a lot of the slowing down energy here. It's the planet of restriction. This is the heartbreak here. It's the no contact and or in separation. For some of you, this might be divorce. This is the loss around it. This is also the sadness around it. And, and we see here the energy of the separation and, and resolution and decisions. It's temporary, but it's sad. Look where it connected. The sun in reverse connected directly here with the nine of cups and the two of cups. The offer here, the wish fulfillment, and that there's a temporary energy and a sadness waiting for that. As we see the devil in reverse here, the devil actually in nowhere here, but trying to go into reverse is what I feel. So it's the four of cups. Look, it's the four of swords in reverse. Yeah, that's not surprising either. Where did that, th there's the three of swords. I'm going to put it here today. Why is this here in reverse? because they're getting restless and they're getting ready to act. This is Jupiter and Libra energy. It's where you go to, this is the, where you go after that. It's the, it's the separation, the no contact, whether it's no communication, not talking, not seeing each other. No communication is real clear. We know that. You go in here after that, try to figure things out. Look right here, third eye, but also crown chakra energy. And it's in reverse. So this is the restless energy. This is somebody getting ready to act here. What happened in this Three of Swords, Aries? They are swords. They're transactional. They're clarity in relationships. So does this go beyond lying and lack of clarity? Highly possible because the Ten of Cups is here. I feel like it was on the table for you before, whether you were in it or working toward it, and it's here again. So somebody's getting ready to come here, but in a whole different way. It's the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is also seeing things in a really different way. And I'm wondering where you're at in this connection. This is the moon in Cancer energy. And this is putting the moon again in reverse, which is the clarity and the truth coming. And it's emotional. And what happened? Because we also see the Three Cups there, the Two Cups there. Well, we know in the Two of Cups that that's... We see it here in the upright. It's a spinner, obviously, because we know that this is a separation. So there it is. Breakup, heartbreak. What is that for you? The Three of Cups in reverse as well. You know, this is that soul, the soul connection. For some of you, there may have been an actual moment or a place where you had some, some discussions that didn't go well, some emotional emotional messages or emotional conversation that was exchanged, but that's also the lack of communication because the Three of Cups is Mercury and Cancer. That's Mercury. Somebody wasn't thinking when they said something or also the lack of communication here. So finding another way in. 
Has there already been communication? For some of you, maybe. For some of you, maybe here. I want to bring in another deck. We're shuffled and ready to go. I'm going to shuffle some more, but I want to show you as I picked it up what's at the bottom. So yeah, it's the Two of Cups. It's a validation of it that it's a spinner because we already know that. And here it is again. Here it is again. It's the separation. And for some of you, there might have been an argument, whether it was in a message or even for some of you in person. And by the way, it's not clear for everybody, but Aries, it did come through some addictive energy Okay, it's not going to be for everyone, but it also comes through for me here, maybe, that that's something somebody's trying to get over here, work on. I'm going to move the energy some more, okay, and then we're going to bring it in, see what else is going on, because, well, yeah, this is somebody who I feel is going to make contact out of nowhere, Aries. It's very clear that it can be in a message. I mean, look at the lightning bolt coming down. And that is out of nowhere energy, you know, and that's fiery energy. The lightning causes fire and it's zapping down here into the eight of wands communication. And you see it in the ace of wands and you see in the nine of wands in reverse that this is ending that separation and that this is. Well, yeah, this is coming out of that hermit energy, which we see they're, they're really working on some things here. The Four of Swords, they're restless. And that's bringing in the emotional availability, the truth, connection that has not been here. Look, I mean, we see it quite literally here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the Nine of Swords, right below the Eight of Wands. That's Gemini and Mars energy, and that's the nocturnal energy. It's the not sleeping. Trying to find another way in. This is why it's like a lightning bolt. It's a message. Somebody blocking somebody because that might be also what I'm seeing here. And there's a nighttime because the nocturnal energy of coming in, look, coming in over here, making that the 10, the nocturnal energy. Again, look, two of the swords are cutting through here like a skull. And that's bringing in, of course, the two of swords. Time to make a decision here. It's this nocturnal energy of somebody just, <laughs> you know, this lightning bolt coming in. Look, it's nocturnal there as well. And sending this message. But I'm wondering if some of you have maybe blocked your person. And they're trying to find another way to get a message. It won't be for everyone. But it can be, you know, phone blocks or, or social media blocks. Or just in general, not being easy to reach. Making it hard for them to reach you. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. There's the missing pentacle. It's the ace of pentacles. That's the nine and that's the ten there. And there's more we're going to take in that deck. So there it is. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. And this is some kind of offer. Taking it to another level. But holding up that pentacle with the horns and coming here with the nine of pentacles, making this the ten of pentacles, the Mercury and Virgo energy, the long-term energy. Something was not reached. The potential was not reached or it was interrupted. It's very clear. I'm going to put this, so I'm wanting to reveal something under here. That's the ten of swords in reverse. Okay, yeah. Wow, that's like putting the Three of Swords in a spin. That's apologetic energy. That's more of the Five of Cups energy here, which is asking for forgiveness. This is forgiveness. This is wanting forgiveness. This is a new start. This is not only wanting forgiveness, but I feel working things out and being able to move forward in a different way getting over it and leaving it behind. It's bringing in full energy. It's starting, taking a chance at something totally new. So is that talking? Is that future energy? Is it current energy? Where are you in that energy? 
These are also yours. And I think that's going to be it. Okay. Wow. So this is the King of... So Spirit of Wands. It's the King of Wands in reverse. This is a little bit of that not quite ready energy. You know, kind of... I don't want to say it... In a, I don't want to be rude, but, you know, kind of weak energy. It's in reverse. So it's not... It's maybe even a little bit of impulsive energy. We already see that in the Devil card because we know they're trying to reverse that. Why are they trying to reverse it? Well, look, what are they bringing in here? It's healing. It's the Heart of Cups. This is Kent. I'm going to put this here, actually, because it's not staying in my hand. This is the Queen of Cups energy. It's Cancer and energy. It's nurturing, healing, supportive energy. And look what else is here. It's the Six of Cups. It's the Sun in Scorpio, and it's a really nostalgic energy. It's also reunion energy. So somebody's thinking about when things were working and when things were not working, because of course it's the Six of Cups it brings in the Five of Cups, which we know is here already. It's in reverse here. Did we see it in reverse here? I think that might... Where did it go? <laughs> did I just pick it up? No, but look what came when I picked up the deck. I know we saw it, and I don't know where it is now, so it doesn't matter because that wanted me to pick up the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is in reverse. This is Taurus energy. It's divine masculine energy. This is a, a card of commitment and for some marriage. Slow-moving energy, it's long-term energy. So this is what we see has been broken here. Look at the lightning bolt as well. But it's almost like it's traveling. Now where is it going? Look, it's, it's connecting perfectly with uprighting. Look at this. Uprighting, the Hierophant card. Communication and healing here in this connection, this commitment. For some of you, marriage, long-term energy, which we see here in the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, bringing us to the Ten of Pentacles. This uprighted right before our eyes. It can be for some of you that they were running from that because, well, yeah, we see that in the Seven of Cups as well, the expectations there might be other people involved in that way. Third party, of course, it can be here and it can be romantic, but also family of origin, you know, in somebody's year or in their life. Religious, cultural differences, distance. That Ten of Cups wants, Ten of Swords, excuse me, wants a new start. Is hoping to be forgiven and that's just wild how that came down. Coming in here in a message in an emotionally different way. This is a healing message too. And the Six of Cups again brings in that Five of Cups, the loss and the regret for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because they love you. I don't think everybody, I don't think anybody's really sleeping that well, but there's a strong nocturnal energy of kind of poking around. <laughs> and it can be some of you have blocked your person in, in some way or maybe always. Reunion energy here, but the nostalgia of remembering also remembering the Three of Cups, both good and bad. For some of you, something happened here in the Three of Cups. Maybe a conversation that didn't go well. There might even be some arguing here, even at a, a I want to say in person, but it can also really be in a message. We can see that. And here's that healing offer here in the Queen of Cups. This is healing a healing message to heal the connection, to put this back on the table, because there is apologetic energy here and asking for forgiveness, Aries. This feels really goosebumpy. I want to see what's going on here. Okay, it's the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is coming back and making amends. What happened in the Seven of Swords in reverse? Well, it was in the upright at some point, Aquarius and Uranus energy, Uranus, it's change. That is, can be sometimes even chaotic, you know? And it's somebody who was a runner, maybe still is, wasn't honest. And for some of you, there was some betrayal here. Look, there's the two swords here again, hanging on. We see them here in the nine of swords. We see them here in the seven of swords. It's putting also the two of swords in reverse. 
there has been in some indecision, but we see here in the Seven of Swords in reverse that they're coming in here to make peace. Hey guys, gosh, I don't know when that ended. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss too much. Okay, I feel like I'm going to do one last, one last uh, channeling here, and then we're going to bring in some oracle cards. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. I need to move the energy here. There it is. <laughs> this knocked down. It came down. I think I wanted to make, make a point. I think this is yours too. Yeah, and this. So we're going to take these. Hold on. And that's it. And before we go over these messages, pun intended messages, because this fell down as the chariot was coming in. So this is a message. This is a message. This is communication. This is the end of, what is that? No contact, no communication, separation. It's coming through in a message here, and I feel like it's out of nowhere, and it's in the night. This is the chariot. It's cancer and energy. It's the moon energy as well, and that's the moon energy here that we see. Cancer is also here, by the way. It's a Pisces energy, but also Gemini. And that's the communication coming through. It's opening up. It's coming in a new way. And you also see that here in the moon and cancer in the chariot, quite literally on the move. This is a card of action and change. It's your journey, but it could also literally be a physical journey. So maybe this isn't even a message at all for some of you. Maybe it's literally a knock on the door. Or for those of you that are still connected, somebody coming by, whatever the case is, this is on the move. I need to see what is here. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's the magician and the death card. Okay, yeah, this is most definitely coming here in a whole new way. This is somebody who is working on something within themselves, but also their ego. This is the death of the ego. This is coming back in a higher vibe, nurturing the physical connection, the psychic connection between you, saying they've changed, hoping you'll give them another chance. Is this just communicating or is this more? It feels like a lot more. Look, it's the magician as well coming down. The magician has access to all the elements. It's this manifesting soulmate energy. For some of you, this is your twin flame. But that's also the balance. That's the life force, forever love. That's also connecting us to Libra. That's the truth. That's finding a solution. All the elements. Water, air, earth, and fire, the love, the friendship, the clarity in the relationship, the physical relationship, and all the practicalities under that, the fiery energy. There's that sword that we're seeing everywhere coming here because they're restless. Look at that. Seeing things here. There's the wand. It's the energy of love. It's leading with the heart. And there are two there. That's the two of you right here. Look at this. Very different cards. Same energy. That's the, what's coming through, and it's buried here now in that Ace of Wands, that earlier energy that came through, the, the lightning bolt energy in the night to send you a message or come by or whatever that is. It's here. Look at this. It's so clear. And there's the offering. There's the cup. There's the rose. That's love. It's an offer. Alchemizing. Gemini Virgo energy, also Mercury. As above, so below. Turning visions into reality, taking inspired action. That's the Ace of Wands here. Yeah. If you've blocked your person, <laughs> I feel like they're trying to find a way to get around that. There might be another way that they get a message to you or come by. That pentacle, of course. Again, all the elements are here. There's the cup, there's the wand, there's the pentacle, and there's the sword. Alchemizing everything here. New beginnings and telling us that there's still a lot of potential. And soulmate energy, it's manifesting you back, manifesting this connection and the opportunity to do that. And that's been really necessary for them. They're needing to get over something. For some, it really is an addiction. It's just not for everyone, but it's been coming back and over and over for me. But that's also the death card energy, the Scorpio energy. The major, the major arcana energy here of big changes. Time to move on from, from things that were not working. 
and that's transforming things. It's a rebirth, and it's both the connection, but it's also their ego. So that's also what's being worked here with trying to get that double in reverse has been really very, very clear. I want to bring in just a little bit of Oracle. We're shuffled, but I'm going to shuffle a little more. And we're going to bring in some channeled love messages, Aries, and close your reading. I'm not taking anything yet. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Assessing the situation. Interesting. This is kind of bringing in that Nine of Cups energy. Where did it go? The wish fulfillment. Am I imagining that the Nine of Cups was here? No, of course I didn't. It's right there. And that's assessing the situation, literally sitting on that bench, making a decision. Are you waiting? Are you going to continue waiting or are you going to go? That's also the Two of Wands there that I felt in the upright for you. Waiting. Thinking about a choice for yourself as well. Waiting to hear from your person. Assessing the situation. Controlling what you can. Letting go of what you can't. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is what you've been waiting for. It's the world card. Totality. The divine, divine timing. Communication and growth. For them to come to you, possibly physically, but in a message for some of you. To complete what? What? Where, where were you? Were you communicating? Was it, were you already in the Ten of Cups? Was it on the table for later? Were you working toward it already? Were you waiting for a proposal? Did something happen for some of you in already a legal connection or waiting for that? Whatever that is for you, that is what this is. It's coming in and completing that. It's completion. And yes, it's a lot of soulmate energy. We know that there have been obstacles. This is the future. It's always spinning, and here it's coming in the way of a globe, <laughs> you know. It's also Hello. that, there goes, the re there goes the camera as always. It's that feeling you could come over here and do this, you know. This is your person coming in. They're coming in in a really different energy here, getting closer to you, their soulmate, their true purpose, because that's why they've been in the hermit card energy. This can be marriage proposals, I want to tell you. And we see that here with the Two of Cups. This is a totally new look. The hand here, <laughs> the past, the rebirth, is trying to get that butterfly. That's the rebirth. That's the transformational energy. And we know with the Devil card, the way it came down, that they're working on something. And also, I feel working on coming. Are you still here, Aries? And what connection is this for you? It will be different for everyone. But this is the healing coming on the move. This is the magician card. It's telling us, again, we see the offer here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this, wow, is this you in here? Maybe. Look at that. It's like the hermit card energy right there. It's the illumination. It's the lantern within the hermit energy. And it's the ship. Look, exploration. It's in reverse. So, it's really thinking about the direction you want to go. This is really clear. Trust yourself. The moon is here. It's your spirit guides, angels and ancestors reminding you. You already know that. Trust yourself. Trust your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels. This is really clear of just trying to figure out the direction. I feel like a lot of you have blocked contact. It's not going to be for everybody, but there you go. Okay. And look, it's it's kind of leading up to the direction that you're going. It's the ship. I mean, it, look, and it, look at all the emotional energy on it. Sort of, it's going fast. That's the thing. It's exploration. It's, it's like the full card, really, in many ways. It's a new path, taking a chance, and it's an adventure beginning. It's a lot like the full card, actually, the hero's journey, Aquarius energy, Uranus. It's in reverse because I feel like you're not sure, but your person has also not been responding or writing or been there. They've been careless, really, with your emotions. That's really super clear. Things haven't been moving. So, yeah, it's, it's an energy of indecisiveness, I want to say. Look, as I say that, look what's showing itself too. So it's high priestess energy, also hierophant energy with the pillar. Look, 
support and reverse. And we see the Hierophant uprighted itself before our eyes in your reading today. And this is also bringing in the High Priestess in reverse. Cancer and energy. Major Arcana. And that's the clouded insight, the blocked intuition, not being really sure because you love this person, Aries. But what's going on in your lives? For, for those of you on a twin flame journey, it's clear what the third party is, okay? So it's, it's a whole different thing. And if you are here and you're on a twin flame journey, please know that there are twin flame readings for you below that will really be probably what you're looking for as well. But there is some blocked intuition here, and I think that might be coming from your part. From your side, I want to say, yeah, look, there's an action here in reverse too. Because that's also what we know you've been waiting for. And, and I'm not going to dig it out, but it's kind of like the chariot coming in reverse. Look, I mean, literally, because this is an action card. So this is a spinner. That's what you've been waiting for. And you're also not sure what direction you want to go. You're both connected here. I mean, you're... You, you're sharing the body. It's like for, for a lot of you, it's a twin flame validation of sharing your soul being split, but that's not going to be for everyone. This is the chariot in reverse for me. This action here, the horse. Look, divine, divine timing. Yeah, it's spinning. That's what you, that's, this is what you're waiting for. And not being sure also, look, the sun is in reverse. This is literally what you're waiting for. It's the sun in upright. You're waiting for the sun to upright. We see it's in reverse. We know that's a temporary energy. So we see it will be uprighted. Things will be worked out. The highest and the best path for everyone, I feel. The higher good of everyone. That's the solution, the crown chakra. That's the outcome. That's the new cycle. This feels really big and like the outcome you've been wanting, Aries. But you know, it's a tarot reading and you have free will. Your person has free will. Everybody does. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. And as I'm saying that, look what's coming off. The sunflowers, they can't grow without the sun. That's the knowing here. That's the crown chakra. That's the knowing. That's the finding the solution. And look again, it's one stem with two sunflowers here. My gosh. Okay. Yeah, I think this is bigger than, than um, <laughs> I want to say uh, that, that I realize because I can feel it. But you know... Energy's outcomes change. And you see here the lightning bolt with the message. So is that message going to set things off? For some of you, could it be in person? Because look, it's an emotional release. It's the ocean. It's the divine. There's three big waves. Divine timing, growth, communication. This is emotional. So yeah, what's going to go on here? This is either a really huge, life-changing new beginning, Aries, or this is something thing is is no but because this can be completion too as in having this emotional discussion and moving on I don't really feel that here maybe it will be for maybe it will continue for some of you that you'll make a decision to stay separated but it just feels like two people that really love each other that are trying to come together and there have been a lot of obstacles here in the way but this is an emotional message the very least emotional communication. So for some, maybe that's going to be in person. Yeah, we're going to stop here and bring in some love messages. Look, it's the wolf. It's like upriding, really, the pillars in reverse here, but it's the moon card. Howling at the moon. It's communication. It's opening up. It's communicating in a new way. Instinctual, trusting your instincts, which is what I think your person is doing here as well. This is a lot of emotional energy coming. And it might be really out of the blue for you, especially for those of you that have blocked your person in some way and they're finding another way to reach you. I'm going to bring in some channeled love messages, Aries, and I'm going to bring in the little ones today and then we're going to close your reading. What do you want to say to your Aries? Messages from their higher self? Love messages. I am afraid to contact you. So that is why it's, it's, you see that devil kind of sideways here because it is really big. There has been indecisive energy, but that is, that is coming for sure. That's changing. Give me time. 
that's the sun that's spinning here, quite literally, in reverse and the upright. It's three. It's the most I take. What's going on here? You are so beautiful. So wanting to send that down. Look, it's like the sunflower telling the other sunflower. I could listen to your voice all day and night. Are there musicians here? Maybe. But it's also your voice. You are perfect. They have a lot of compliments. And this is, is kind of hanging off, so that's yours. I feel your energy. That's the two of cups. That's the energy exchange. This is coming up. This is coming off. Please wait for me. Can you feel my love? That's the two of cups again. I have so many regrets. That's the five of cups. It's also the lover's card in reverse. Gemini energy. I still want you. I'm hiding my true feelings. Yeah, that's the emotional release here. It's it's like tidal wave, really. It's waves. Look at it. There's three. It's divine timing. Don't ever change. I'm feeling like I want to bring in some letters and numbers today. Then we're going to close your reading, Aries. It can be initials, locations. Oh, look what's here. We got a butterfly in here. That is, where did that go? That's the death card, butterfly, look. I'm trying to grasp it. It literally, I mean, it's the butterfly, look. Okay, that didn't belong in here, but obviously it belonged in there for you. Initials, location, sometimes it can spell something. I don't generally spell out, sometimes I do, but there might not be anything to spell today. I don't see any vowels here. These can be birthdays, anniversaries, ages, you're going to know. So there is a one, that's the new beginning and that's the potential, that's the magician card here. We're seeing two fives. This is a life change ahead energy. Look at this. That's the life change ahead. This is transformational energy. There's the eight. There's the action number. Is this a six or a nine? Interesting, because this both brings in Venus, but this also brings in healing. This is the six of cups energy. This also brings in the crown chakra and the spinning sun, the upright and the reversal. And the finding a solution. Or is this a nine? <laughs> is this the nine of cups here? Attainment, fulfillment, things coming to fruition. It's kind of hard to tell what it is. It's both for me. And there's the four. Manifesting. That is the magician card here. And that's the four areas of support and stability. Emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual. So that's the foundation and that's everything holding it up here. And again, it's that magician energy having access to all the elements and alchemizing everything, this new beginning. And the last number coming in is not surprising. It's the three. This is the divine. This is divine timing. This is communication. This is growth. There's something on here in your wood. M-J-S-R-Y-F, another S. Came right here. I don't know. Is this a W or an M? I think it might be a W and a D, F and a C. So there is no, there are no vowels here. So these might be initials to locations, to names, specific places, things. You're going to know. I'm going to hold it up if you want to pause it. Aries, that is your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you love and light on your journey. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading, watching readings and liking them, sharing them, of course, subscribing to the channel. These are things that really, really help support the channel, support me so that I can continue to bring you more readings. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for being here. I'm sending you love and I look forward to seeing you at another reading. Bye Aries.